Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Tuesday the 26th of October. The end of the month is approaching. Uh, it's pretty early in this, early here in Bangkok. The sun is out though and in fact it almost looks like there's a blue sky up there so it could, we could be in for a very sunny day. It's good to play the game early in the morning though because it is cooler uh, when, the, when the sun actually does hit, which can make it uh, impossibly hot. Um, today's Sudoku game is a medium level. We'll get onto that into. We'll get onto that in a second. Just before I note that um, the unfortunate news that greenhouse gas emissions were at their highest ever last year, according to a, a report by the UN uh, World Meteorological Office. Um, CO2 uh, at 413.2 parts per million uh, and this is after it dipped um, during the COVID-19 um, lockdowns. Mm. Human beings seem to be able to know and understand the problem but don't seem to be able to do or take action to uh, solve the problem. Uh, many are willing but the forces of capital and profit are against um, people who just want an easy life, people who see, who have been, you know, their whole lives, uh, their thing has been to make money, to make huge profits, to live an easy life, which is kind of understandable, you know, humans would like to live an easy life, unfortunately, uh, is destroying everybody on the planet, and uh, unless we actually take some action as opposed to nattering about it, um, we're all doomed, I suppose. <laughs> That's a very uh, pessimistic thinking on a Tuesday morning, but never mind. Um, we won't be today, will it? You know, we've got at least another few days before we all <laughs> expire. So um, let's get on with today's Sudoku. In the meantime, to distract ourselves from the uh, impending doom. Okay, if you've never played Sudoku before, I'll explain the rules quickly. Uh, we have rows across. With numbers one to nine we have columns down with one to nine and we have these blocks with numbers one to nine but you say hey not all the numbers are there and i say yes of course that's the point of the game is to fill in the empty squares with numbers between one and nine uh, and uh, then the get the puzzle will be complete so uh, how do we go about it we use the idea that the number can appear once only in its because there are nine squares in each row, the number can appear once in its row, 9 in the column, number can appear once in the column, and 9 in each block. The number can appear once in its block. So if, for example, we consider this block here, segment here, whatever you want to call it, and we see that it does not have a 2, it doesn't have a 1, there's no 2, there's no 3, there's no 8, there's no 9. But I want to consider the 2 in particular and say that look this two up here in this column means that two cannot appear anywhere else no other square in this column can contain a two and then there's a two over here no other two in this row can contain a two so there's a kind of pattern that blocked down here is this two and blocking across here is this two here so blocked and blocked so there is only one square left and that's this square here so we therefore know that a 2 fits into that square there. We don't have to consider anything else. It must go there because this puzzle has a unique solution. 2 goes across here, blocking across this row, so no 2 is anywhere here. This 2 stops any from be anything from being in these two squares. Any 2 is from being in these two squares, I should say. And so, therefore, there's just one square left again. The 2 has to go there. Let's take that 2 and say this 2 that we just filled in now blocks up this column. No other 2 here. And this 2 blocks up this column, blocked and blocked. And then we have a 2 across here, blocking that square again. Just the first square, 1A, or row 1, column 1, whichever way you want to um, notate it, if you do that kind of thing, uh, it's a 2. There's a 2 blocking down here, and there's a 2 blocking across here. So there's one square left here. 2 has to go here. And now there is only one block, just this block here, that doesn't contain a 2. And if you have 2s in every other block except 1, you must be able to get that number. That's a rule you can remember if you are new to Sudoku. Guarantee that you can get it. 
So two blocks across here, two blocks across here, two blocks down here, and two blocks down here. So we know that the final two that we have to place goes in that square there. Okay, the next number I'm going to show you is 8. I'm going to put an 8 in this square here. And the way I'm going to do it is, remember, 8 means that an 8 cannot appear again in this block. Okay, so no 8 here, or here, or here, or here, or here. So in particular, no 8 allowed in this these two squares. And we don't have an 8 in this column yet, so that would only leave two places left down here. And we can see that this 8 stops that square from being an 8. So we know that 8 must go there. Same idea, this 1 blocks everything in this block from being 1, so no 1 here or here. That means there's just one square left now, so we know that a 1 must appear in that square there. This 9 blocks everything here in this block from being a 9. I wish I could think of a better term, but anyway, this seg segment here. 9 stops this square and 9 stops this square. We don't yet have a 9 for this column, so there's only one square left at the end there. 9 has to go there. Uh, missing numbers in these two squares are 1 and 8. And in fact, we'll see a 1 intersecting here, so we know the 1 goes here. And we can also see an 8 intersecting here, so we know the 8 goes here. Uh, pretty easy to spot that one. Okay, now 1 blocking down here, or 1 blocking down here, gives us a 1 in this square here. Uh, seven blocks across here and seven blocks down here. We don't yet have a seven in this particular se segment here. Seven across, seven down. So we know that seven has to be in the only remaining square, which is there. Uh, this row here is lacking a 9, but we can see an intersecting 9 here, and we see this 9 blocking this square because anything in here can't be a 9. So we know there's only one square left where a 9 can go, it's got to go there. There's 4 blocks down this column, there's just one square left, 4 has to go here now. 1 blocks across here. So 1 is there, and the last number to get in this block is 5. That's If you count through, you'll find 5 is the missing number. Uh, missing numbers here are 3, 8, and 9. We've got 1, 2, there's no 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's no 8 or 9. But we can see a 9 intersecting here and a 9 intersecting here. And so we know that 9 has got to go there. Now the other missing numbers were 3 and 8. But look, we've got an 8 also intersecting this square. So we know that 8 goes here. And the last number that we need now was a 3. So we can place our 3 there. 3 also blocks this column here. So just one square left where we can place a 3 in this block. Um, one blocks up this column here, and then we have an intersecting one in the top row, and an intersecting row one in this row here, and so one must appear in that square there. Uh, 
I think I've been looking over here for too long. I need to redirect my view. Now, if you're a newcomer to the game, uh, you should note that it's important often to uh, look in other directions, in other places, when you've been looking one spot for a long time. Um, you can easily get stuck. Eight blocks this square here, eight blocks this square here. We don't have an eight yet, but we do now. In fact, I think that was... No, it wasn't the last eight. But I think that we've got one left. Eight, 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 eight. So just this block here doesn't contain an eight, so we know we can find it. We will look for it now. Eight across here, eight across here, and eight up here. Like I said, if you've only got one digit, one of the digit left, you can always find it. That's a, a guaranteed rule in Sudoku. Seven blocks up here, seven blocks up here, seven blocks across here. So seven is in that square there. Or you could have said seven across here and seven across here, seven up there. If you prefer, uh, same result will ensue. Uh, this one blocks this square, or this one blocks this square. Either way you look at it, one must appear here, and three is the last number that we need here. Okay, we don't have a nine in this column yet two ways of looking at it. Either this 9 blocks this square and this 9 blocks this square or 9 blocks down here and 9 blocks this square. Either way you look at it we come to the same conclusion that that square there has to be a 9. We don't have a 4 in this column. 4 and 5 are the missing numbers. We have a 4 blocking this square here. So now we know that 4 goes there, and the other missing number was 5. Okay. Um, okay, it's a good idea sometimes to since this is supposed to be a medium level game rather than an easy level game, although it is really an easy level game, I'll show you about looking ahead, shall I? Uh, what I mean. So three blocks across here, right? So there's so no three in this square or this square. Uh, three has got to be in one of these two squares, right? Either this square or this square. It doesn't matter if it appears here or it appears here, whichever, it will still block up here. So that's kind of thinking ahead a little bit. Three blocking up here, three blocking up here, and three blocking across here. So we know that that's the only square left then where three can go. There's five blocks up this column, just one square left, five must go there. Um, we can find this number as well, because we absolutely know what these two numbers are. Even if we can't place them, we can limit to what they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, no 5, no 6. So we know that 5 and 6 must be here. Now, can we find them? No, we can't, but it doesn't matter, because we can count through knowing that these two are 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the last number there has to be a 9. Now we have 9 blocking this square, 9 blocking this square, and 9 blocking up there. You know, try to use the numbers that you just placed often, that will help. Uh, not always, but often it will. Um, okay, uh, we don't have a 4 in this column yet. 4 blocks this square here. So we can place our 4 here like this. I think the other number is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, there's no 6. 7, 8, 9 we've got. So that's a 6 to go there. Now there's only one number missing from this row, so we must get it. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's no 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 we've got. Right. 
right, almost there now. Just a few places to look. Um, okay, this three stops this from being a three. We don't have a three yet, so three is there. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have a six, so the six goes here, stopping that from being a six. So the six goes here. The last number that we need for this block is a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Four stops that from being a four. So four goes here. The last number that we need here is a five. Let's place that in. Um, very close to home now, I'd say. Uh, this five stops this from being a five. We don't have a five in this row yet so we know five goes here like this six is the missing number I remember from previously six is also the missing number in this row now one number missing from this column one two three we don't have a four yet so that's a four one number missing here and it's a five um, okay the missing numbers here one two so we don't have a Three, that's blocked there. We don't have a six, that's blocked there. And we don't have a seven. Okay, so seven blocks here, seven blocks here. So that's a seven. Six stops that from being a six. So the six is there. And the last number that we need is a three. Okay, so three blocking this square, three blocking this square. Three is down here. Or you could just count through. Three, one, two. Uh, four stops that from being a four, so the four is there, and the last number to get is a six. And that's our so-called medium level puzzle, but really, to be honest with you, it's an easy level puzzle. Thank you to The Guardian. Hope you're enjoying your week, and I hope it's going to be a nice, bright, sunny day for you, as it is here in Bangkok. Um, okay, and more Sudoku coming up later in the day, and uh, or middle of the night, if you want YouTube, of course, you can watch it at any time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.